Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Devin from Devin's Vapes, uh, back again here today. Uh, this is a tutorial. Uh, not really, you know, what you should do, but it's what I've been doing. Real quick, I'm gonna vape this. This was my, my vape today, besides what we're fixing to fill up. Um, this is a Vision Spinner. The cardamizer been vaping really nicely. Alright, so, we're gonna go ahead today, and we're gonna fill. Uh, this Genesis. Now, the way I've been doing this, since it's, you know, it's a metal tank right here, this this did mini, uh, the way I've been filling these is, uh, obviously I've been taking tweezers to pull this negative feed off because I lost, I lost the tool that it comes with, and you give me something like that, I'm going to lose it anyway, but what I've been doing is I've been taking the coil completely out. Now, the whole point of this is that way you can get, you know, uh, I'm going to show you. We're going to take everything apart here. Okay, even your little coil. There's your wick. Or there's my wick. It's not yours. And now you just kind of let everything drop onto this paper towel down here. Um, and this is, like I said, this is how I've been filling my, my did mini. And you know, if you don't want to change the coil, you don't have to. I certain, I'm certainly hell not doing that right now. And then I just uh, tighten up this little screw over here using my vape tweezers. We're gonna pull this apart now. You should be able just to just unscrew this, uh, this bottom right there. And if you look at my Genesis, oh my gosh. I have completely vaped this Genesis dry. I swear to God, this I was just vaping this. Um, I've completely vaped this dry. Completely dry. There's no juice in here at all. Oh my gosh. Um, either way, I've got some uh, cherry here. By the way. If you're like me and you hate the Vivinovas, these Vivinova heads actually work well for something. Setting your Genesis down. So this is some uh, cherry, vi vanilla cherry I have here. And this is the only cherry. This is from MyFreedomSmokes.com. This is the only cherry that doesn't taste like chapstick to me. But uh, we're going to add some other stuff in there as well. Shake this nice and, nice and good. We're going to add some other stuff in here. I'm just flavor mixing and shit. We're going to go ahead and we're going to slowly fucking fill this really yep yeah, looks like we're slowly filling this because this is the slowest drip bottle in the entire world uh, basically the why why I did this is so you can see how much juice is actually in your atomizer because like I said the mini did just has a, a metal tank and you can't buy glass tanks or plastic tanks for it you just can't and I don't know why that was kind of a dumb manufacturing idea there so this juice bottle's not working. I'm gonna set this on the stand. I'm gonna open this up actually. Okay. Way to do this. Take some pliers. And just uh take that dripper cap off. Be careful you don't pour this down there like a crazy madman. Just so I could fill it a little bit quicker. This way you can just kind of see how much juice you actually have in there. That's my whole reasoning behind it. Um, where's the cap? Okay, that way you can just kind of see how much you actually have in there and actually, you know, make sure you're using it all. What is this? Hey, why not? We'll use some of this in there too. Just because, uh, no, there's nothing in there. What's in here? That's empty. What's, that's empty too. By the way, this is, uh, all my bins I have Woo, for my e-liquid here. Sorry, I didn't mean to move the camera. I want to mix some other stuff here. Um, one thing you can do to make this better, I just bought some regular menthol juice, mint menthol or whatever. Just put like two drops in there. Now you got a menthol juice. So there you go. We just mixed some e-liquid. This is a cherry vanilla. Uh, cherry vanilla menthol. So there we go. We're going to go ahead and pick up our Genesis here, we're going to put this top cap back on. Just going to wipe all this down. And uh, we're just going to put the top cap back on, and we basically have a full tank now. So there you go. That's pretty much what I do. Um, just because I can't get in there and actually, you know, I can't get in there and fill it with the syringe because I never know how much is in there, and I don't fill it enough. And then by the end of the day, when I take this out, vaping with me you know I'm out at work or something and 
you know, it's not all the way filled. And I'm like, oh, great. And uh, one day, I actually bring up freaking Genesis. Pulls this crap. Yeah. So basically, we're just going to hook everything back together now. Pretty simple. I mean, this wick and wire and everything in there is still usable. It's all still usable, right? And this is this is not even three months old. Usually my Genesis coils last me if that. They last me that if not that. Um, just put these little rings back on there. We're going to screw this all together and vape it. But, you know, yeah. Leave it to me. I lost the one thing I wasn't supposed to lose. And, uh, you know, these Genesis atomizers, they go through juice fairly fast. You know, either this thing doesn't wick at all, or it wicks super crazy good. You have to wicked craze your voltage out, you know? Either way, I mean, you could fill this with a syringe. I just, I don't see how. I mean, you can never see the full, you know, how much e-liquid is actually in there. It's annoying, you know? That's like the one gripe I have with this atomizer is the fact that you can never see how much e-liquid is actually in there. Can never, and you can never get the negative feed under there either. Because that will just pop out on you. Screw you, negative feed. You're not even all the way in there, are you? No. Nope. Can I screw this down now? Sorry this is taking so long. You can sign off now if you want. Go watch other videos that aren't time consuming. I'm not going to be able to get that back in there. This is the problem I had before, you know. Don't lose your tools for these, by the way. I don't know why they couldn't just been like everybody else and used a micro screwdriver I mean come on this is ridiculous and then you can't even buy these things at another store there we go can't even buy these at another store because it's such a small size you take them in there and you take your atomizer and they're looking at y'all funny we don't have anything that size put this all back together there we go. Now this is ready to vape. Uh, full tank ready to vape. That was the whole point of this video. Where's the mod? Where's my mod? I'm losing my mind. There it is. Screw this on here. This is what also what I was vaping today. This freaking Genesis. What do we have here? 1.2 ohms. Where's the top cap? There we go. Oh, duh. I'm gonna need a drip tube. There we go. What did I say this was? 1.2. Let's go ahead and crank this like 4.6. There we go. So, I mean, now it's performing better again because it's not completely empty. Um, I don't know why everybody keeps saying they have to hold their tank like this to get it to wick. Uh, I don't have that issue everything just pretty much wicks for me um, other than that I've, I've done the tutorial on the Genesis uh, I've done a lot and uh, there we go I mean it's, it's vaping very nicely 1.2 ohms at 4.5 volts <laughs> excuse me um, here we go another vape very nice nice throat hit I mean everything right there so if you guys want to fill your tanks up I mean you can try the way I do it which makes it a little bit easier uh, you have to do it and like I said these Vivi Nova head things right here these things make perfect for holding any atomizer you don't want upside down I mean stick the 510 connection right in there and then it freaking holds it for you right and set it down well it doesn't leak all right, just a real quick video, you guys. Getting this Genesis all filled up again. Uh, looks like it's working really, really nice. There we go.
I like that drip tip on there too, isn't that sick? Alright, one more vape, you guys. We're gonna sign off. Woo! There we go, guys. Very nice vape. So, thank you for watching. Um, just how to fill your Genesis up a little bit easier. Hopefully, that helps some people. I'm gonna let you guys go. Look at my finger. I'm gonna let you guys go, though. Um, that's just the way I've been filling up my Genesis. There you go. I mean, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Devin's Vapes.